Hi everyone, welcome to Friday Flashback. And today's flashback, I've got lots of stuff out, but basically what I'm doing is I'm going to do something like this. Now, this and also this one are tag books that I created. And this one here is all about travel. So the idea with this one that I had in mind when I made it was that I would create a little booklet like this and it could add in extra pages very easily because all I have to do is undo the clip at the top and then I can just put another tag in. Now I never really did anything more with it after I did the first slot but it's still lovely and having pulled it out I'm now going to use it in my travel journal I think. I might split it up and use it but I'm definitely going to use it because I'm still really happy with what I've done on this one. So this is another example of a tag book. I pulled this one out and I think that it's still quite good really. It's got little bits on it and it's mainly just photographs and beautiful papers, lots of different clips and things and ribbons in there. So I'm going today to see how a tag book stacks up in 2020. Now obviously because everything's changed since I did the last tag books I'm going to do it slightly differently but using the same concept so I've got lots of stuff that I've grabbed out of my stash today and I thought I could work through now the first thing I want to do is I'm going to put some stain on the tag so I've got five tags these are around about six inches by three inches, these tags. I've taken one of them and I've scored it and folded it up so I could thought I could do a little pocket or something with that one. And I've also got out some Distress Oxide Spray. Because I thought I would do some colouring on them before I did anything else. The colours I'm using are Tattered Rose shabby shutters and ground espresso so basically a brown a pink and a green they're the only ones that i own in the distress oxide spray so that's why i'm using these ones so i'll just um give them a squirt and see how things go okay managed to get that on there as well never mind I'm really just wanting to use the spray to colour the card with rather than anything else. I must remember not to drag that through because I don't like the drag line that you get. It's alright when you dip it but I always manage somehow to forget that and drag it through. I'm just creating some colour really and then I'll dry them off and we'll see what we get. those circles that I'm getting at the bottom of the, the oxide bottle. That looks very cool. Completely serendipitous but I like it anyway. out a few things from the cupboard and tissue paper I don't think I have to tell you that this is Tim Holtz because most of the stuff I use is from Tim 
Let's put some matte medium down here. Stick this on top. Tear a bit more of this off and do it on a few of the others so I've got a bit of a, a theme coming through. I'll put some down here where I don't like that sort of drag mark that I've accidentally created. The store so I'll have to um, go in the storeroom or where I keep my spares I should say so I will get that out but I'll just finish this bottle off first I like to get the most out of my supplies that looks really cool I like that This is just tea dyed paper. I've just got scraps that I've put down so I create some sort of background on some of them. I've also got some of these um, sayings that I've been using lately. I've stamped those out and I'm using them on my crafts. Just stamped them onto tea dyed paper. You probably saw me do that a few weeks back. I will put a couple of these on. I don't know that I'm going to put too many of them on, but I will put a couple. Oh, I didn't ink the edges of that one. Oh, pull it up before it dries. And I've got a few snippets out as well. And some little teeny tiny paper dolls too so I was hoping that I can put her at the back there so it looks like she's in the frame but her legs are still dangling down I'm going to put her on top of that typewriter piece that I've got there. I might put it on the back actually. And get a little snippet of that paper again. Put it under here. not big enough so we'll have to go to a bigger piece I was 
going to cut those off, but I don't think I am now. I think I'm just going to leave that overlapping like that. And you've got this little thing on the back. So when that dries a bit more, I'll tuck this in here with her feet on the outside. Okay, I'm going to put a bit more on here, but that's the idea. That's what I will do. And I may put another saying across the bottom here. This time I remember to ink it before I stick it down. Let's see what that looks like with that on there. Mm, that's good. Set that one aside to dry a bit more and I'll put some more on these ones I think. I've got some other little dolls out. I think this little girl will look quite cute down here holding her little flag. Now, I'm going to put this together using some of this Tim Holtz tape and I'm just going to put it across here. So I need to make sure when I put these stuff on these tags that I have decorated it so that when I put them together, I can put them on here. And I'm, maybe I should do that now before I start putting things down because I might forget that and then I won't know which way I've decided to join them. Also, I'll be able to see what sort of layout I'm putting on this little tag book. And it's going to fold like this. And then I'll put the next one so it folds back the other way. Okay, let's just see what this is going to look like. That's all right there. Oh. They're so tiny, these snippets, these tiny little snippets that they sometimes they fly away. I was holding a butterfly before and it just flew right out of my hand. I still don't know where it went to. I'll have to find it later so that I get it and put it somewhere. <laughs> I am not sure if I'm going to put a doll on every one of them just yet. I'll decide that as I walk, work through it a bit more. I got this beautiful lace the other day and I wanted to use some of it. Isn't that gorgeous? It's some really beautiful pieces of lace. Just not sure where that's going to go at this point. Maybe I'll just put a little tiny bit on here. And I may well sew that on. So I should go and do that first before I progress further. In fact, I could put a little tiny bit on here as well, couldn't I? This is so delicate, this lace. It's really beautiful and it's incredibly soft as well. I 
I might just glue this one on, I think. I don't think I need to sew it. It's very light. I think it'll stay without being sewn. But I'm just gluing it under the flowers because I want to keep the netting free so it's over the top of the words there. I've got a little pin on there. And I also have some bolt clips here. Bolt pins, sorry. These ones. And I've got these vintage buttons which come from lace-up boots. I've got this one. I've got a whole heap of these. But these are a bit different, these ones. They're leather. They're just gorgeous. This one's got a little dot in the top. And I thought if I thread them onto the bolt pin... I could pin this bolt pin maybe to the top of this. I'm not sure where I want it yet. And I could certainly pin it to the top of that or maybe on a piece of lace or something. Let me just take this off for a moment and work out where I want it. I think I might just pin one of them on there. This is the Tim Holtz Dymo Tape. I've got the letters and the numbers in this. And then with this little girl, I've got these tiny clips. And I'll put one of them on the top of her. So it's a little handle. Now, I probably need to do something else to this, maybe like a button or something. Maybe, maybe this with a little black button on it, because I think this button's too big. This little shoe, um, yep. I'll put that bolt pin through there with the other little black button on it. I think that looks quite cute. And then this is going to go here. It's a bit more of this tape. I think that's a bit pink. Mm, maybe not. I really don't like this white edge showing. That's got to come off. I tried to ink it, but it didn't knit too well. So now I'll just chop it off. Much better. Much, much better. And I need to do something more, don't I? Yes. I do think this is too big, this tape. I'll leave that one on there, but the rest I'm going to use something else. Much better. I'm not sure I'm going to decorate the back because I think you can use the back as journaling. Place. But uh, oh, even that's fine. That's where the pin's coming through there. And I really don't know that I want to decorate that up so much. And 
I also think I'm going to put the other two on this side because I don't want any more tape running down here. Let's see what else we've got to put on. So I've got two more. I've got this one and this one. Might turn this over. It doesn't matter that this I've put something on the back of that. I don't think that's the end of the world. We'll do something different on here. Where's that tape here? I love this bride and groom. They're from the Halloween collection. And they're a bit creepy. So I'm going to put this little tag here. It says Lost Souls. And I just need to work out where I'm going to put it and how I'm going to put it on. Maybe some of that lace. And what else have I got? Um... Maybe here somewhere I have a little thing with the um, this thing. This is what I'm trying to think of the name of antique gems. I haven't even put them away yet. I've had them for a few weeks, but haven't used them. So now's a good day to use that. Wanted to hang so that it's at the front, but it doesn't seem to want to. Oh, there you go. Okay. No, nope, it still doesn't seem to want to do that. Doesn't matter which way I hang it, it wants to hang to the back. Oh no, there you go, it's hanging to the front now. And I will pin this onto here, I think. I pinned that little bolt pin onto the lace, and I've got also the little antique gem on there so it will face the front i had to re-pin it to make sure it was on you know looking right side up facing up bit of bling i think that's very cute and i still want to put this down but i think i need something else before i start putting that down and at this point i'm really just trying to work out what else i need on here now, unfortunately, I've just realised as I was closing up that my video stopped. So <laughs> I've done most of it. So I'll just show you where I ended up. I've got some sari silk and I've wrapped around to close it up. And that's just a loose piece. And then I've just put it all together like this. I've added in some other tags that I made recently. This one is stuck down and I've put the, the little pin up here with the little bit of bling and the lost and found, or lost souls I should say. I ended up doing a bigger version of the bride and groom, the next size up, because they're a bit too small. They were getting a bit lost on that tag. And then I put some sari silk on here and a pin through it. But looking at it now, I'm not actually that happy with it, so I'm taking it off. And what I'm going to do is leave the pin in place and hopefully it's a bit too thick so I'm going to pull some of the silk off and make it a bit thinner I think I think that's fine I've left the pin this is a loose tag that I've just decided I will tie on there I won't actually stick it down at all get that tied up again the pin in place. Oh, nice threads coming off there. There you go. I think that's much better being thinner. And I have, um, where's my little cover here? And on the back, I've just left it as is, except for that one, which is the one that I ended up turning around. So at some point I can put something more on the back, or I can just use that to journal on. 
but I think in my opinion that the tag book has definitely stood the test of time and let me know if you agree or not. I will see you in the next video and that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Cheers.